In this video, we are going to solve a very common issue in WordPress website and that is email not sending. For example, let's say you have a WordPress website and you have a contact form on this and you are not getting emails for all the forms that are being filled up on your site or you are getting them in your spam folder or maybe you have a custom sign in form or maybe a custom forgot password form and in that as well you need to send emails to your website users. But the problem is that your users are not getting those emails or they are landing in the spam folder. And the main reason for this issue is that your hosting servers are not designed to send these kind of emails. And email providers like Gmail are very good at filtering these emails as spam. So the best way to fix this problem is to use an SMTP server. And that's what we are going to cover in this video. So let's dive in in our WordPress backend and see how it works. So let's say we have this custom WordPress sign in form and and here instead of using our username and password I want to use the magic login link where I just need to enter my email address and I should receive an email with a link which I can use to directly log in in my WordPress backend. But right now as I'm not using any SMTP server chances are that I'm not going to receive any email or it will land in my spam folder. So here is my registered email ID. Let's send magic link. It says magic link sent, but here I do not see any email in my primary inbox and my spam or my social or promotional label is also empty. So now let's go back in our WordPress backend and see how we can add an SMTP server. Now, if you want to learn how you can create these kind of custom sign in and registration form, we have created a complete playlist that you can watch. We will link that in the I button above or in the video description below. And this video is part of the same playlist which will help you make sure that all the emails from these forms will land in your user's inbox. So here we need to go to plugins and then click on add new and then we will search for fluent SMTP and this is the SMTP plugin that we are going to use. So I have already installed this plugin so I will just activate this. Alright so now we have the plugin activated we can now go to settings and if this is your first time you are going to see an option to connect the provider. So depending upon your email service provider you can choose the option from here. Or you can simply choose other SMTP like in our case we are using Zepto mail. So we are going to select other SMTP server and if we scroll down here we just need to enter a few details like from email address the email address that you want to use and here we can enter the name what name we want to show on the email once they land in the inbox and after that we need to enter the SMTP host and SMTP port. Now you can get this information from the email service provider and these days most of the hosting accounts provide free emails so you can create an email ID from there and then use the same SMTP details. Now for example here we have a hosting panel of Hostinger and in that we have an option for email accounts. So if I just go ahead and create a new email and then just enter the password and then click on create. So I've just created my sample email address and if we go down here I can see my SMTP details. So here is the host name and here is the port number. And once again no matter what email service provider you use you will get the respective information from their backend panel. And after that we just need to enter our SMTP host and SMTP port and after that we are going to use encryption as SSL and at the end we are going to just enter SMTP username and password. And most of the time your username is your email address and the password is your email password. And once we enter all these details, we just need to click on save connection settings and we will be back on our settings dashboard. And in order to make sure that we have entered correct details, we have an email test option at the top. So if we click on this, so here we need to select from email ID. So this is the one which we have entered while configuring this plugin. And in the send to option, we are going to enter any email address where we want to send this test email. And then just click on send test mail and the test mail has been successfully sent. So now let's go back in our email inbox and see if we got any email. And here is our test email. So it means that we have successfully configured this plugin. Yeah. 
Now if we again refresh our custom sign in form and then go to login via magic link and then enter our registered email ID and then click on send magic link. All right, we are back on our sign in form. Let's go back to our email inbox. And now we can see we have a second mail, which is our magic login link. And in that we have our login now link, which we can use to login in our WordPress backend. So this is how we can configure SMTP server on our WordPress website and make sure that every time our emails land in the inbox of our users. So in this way, we can make sure that all the contact form emails land in our inbox. And if in case you are using any custom login or registration form, using an SMTP server will make sure that your users will get the email right in their inbox. And once again, if you want to learn how you can create these custom login and registration form, you can go ahead and watch our complete playlist that you will link in the i button above or in the video description below. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like. And if you want to watch more Gutenberg videos like this one, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you will get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.